Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this very quickly. Square root of 3x plus square root of x equals 6. Okay, so our next target is to remove the square root from here. And um, to do that, we'll have square root of 3x plus square root of x. This will be squared. And then we square 6. And mind you, this means that we have square root of 3x plus square root of x multiplied by square root of 3x plus square root of x. And on the other hand, we have 6, I mean 36. Square root of 3x times square root of 3x, that will give us 3x. Then square root of 3x times square root of 3x, okay, let's write it this way. We have um, square root of 3x times square root of 3x, okay, square root of x. We'll simplify that, right? Then plus this, multiply by this, the same thing square root of 3x multiply by square root of x then this multiply by this will give us plus x and everything equals 36 okay to continue from here we have 3x plus we can multiply these two because both of them are roots so we'll have square root of 3x squared okay because this will multiply this then plus the same thing here square root of 3x squared then plus x equals 36 now what can I do this plus this will give us 4x then plus 2 square root of 3x squared because they are the same thing and this is equal to 36. Now I can reduce the equation by dividing up through by 2. So I have um, 2x plus square root of 3x squared equals half of 36 is 18. Right? We have divided everything by 2. Now let us um, make this right here the subject. So we have square root of 3x squared square root of 3x squared equals 18 minus 2x now what can we do here is what we can do we will square both sides again we are squaring both sides so that the square root will go this will go into that. So we have 3x over there. 3x squared rather. Then on the other hand, we have um, 18 minus 2x multiplied by 18 minus 2x. Now let us multiply. 3x squared is equal to 324. That is 18 times 18 minus 18 times 2x that would be that would be 36x minus the same 36x that is minus 2x times 18 then plus this times this is 4x squared now to continue we'll have 36x squared i mean 3x squared equals 324 then minus 36 plus 36 is 72x, okay, 72x plus 4x uh, squared. Now, we are going to collect terms together. 3x squared minus 4x squared plus 72x minus 324 is equal to 0. Let me go over that again. 3x squared minus 4x squared plus 72x 
then this minus 3 to 4 equals 0. If you subtract this, we're going to have minus x squared, then plus 7 to x minus 3 to 4 equals 0. Now, there's every need for us to remove this negative, so we have x squared. This right here will become negative 7 to x. This will become positive 3 to 4. And this is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation to deal with. Okay, this right here can be factorized. Remember, we said that um, minus 18 and minus 18, I mean minus 18 plus minus 18 will give us minus 72. No, it doesn't do that. Um, okay, minus 18 times minus 18 will give us um, 3, 2, 4, right? But bringing these two together will not give us this one. So that means we cannot use this, right? No, now we are going to use the formula very quickly. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, this is what you should do. If it is wasting your time to factorize, you will just use the formula to do it, right? So x is equal to, well, minus b and minus 72. That will turn to positive 72. Then plus or minus. We have minus 72 squared, then minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, then multiply by our c is 3 to 4, 3 to 4. Then we divide this by 2 times 1, and that is still 2. So our x now will be equal to, okay, so we have 72 plus or minus then we have um, minus 72 squared will give us 5184 then minus 4 times 1 times 324 is 1296 then we divide all of this by 2. So our x will now be 72 plus or minus 5184 minus 1296 is 3888. Then we divide this by 2. But if I want, I can simplify this root. x will be 72 plus or minus this right here is the same thing as um, 1296 multiply by 3 okay under the same root we now divide by 2 right Okay, so our x will now be 72 plus or minus square root of 1,296 is 36. Then we have root 3, this right there. Then we divide by 2. Now, what can we say? These two will go there. So our x will now be equal to 2 into this will give us 36 plus or minus, the same 2 into this will give us 18, then we have root 3. Okay, so this is a 2 in 1 solution. Our x is equal to 36 plus 18 root 3, or we have 36 minus 18 root 3, right? But the question is, do you think both of them will satisfy? Let's get our answer in um, decimal form. So x is equal to, okay, so this right here, if you simplify it, it gives this, 
and then this right here will give us this but it's only one of them that satisfies this particular equation square root of 3x plus square root of x equals 6 okay so the value of x that satisfies this equation is approximately it's approximately 4.82 and that's what we have right there thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe